absolutely stunning. I can't believe it, we're on a rowing boat in the middle of Lake Blake. Castle just up there. I literally feel like I'm, I'm in a postcard. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow, look at that backdrop. I'm meant to be getting up tomorrow to get the half free bus to go to Lake Bled in Slovenia. But my call has stuck a turn for the worst. Can I make it? Oh. Good morning, guys. So, this isn't really how I wanted to spend my travels. Last night was absolutely brutal if i'm honest i contemplated cancel like cancelling this whole trip but today we're going somewhere that is literally on my bucket list and that is lake bled in slovenia and i decided do you know what i'm gonna give it a go and i'm gonna go anyway and to be honest the fresh crisp air of triglav national park will probably do me some good it just sucks a little bit because you see all this glamorous side of travel and stuff but what you don't see is when you get sick while you're traveling Anyway, sorry to start this vlog off on a Debbie Downer. We have to catch a bus at 5.20 from Kagenfurt Central train station slash bus, uh, bus station. We need to walk there, which is about a 13 minute walk according to Google Maps. And we should get there at 6.30 in the morning. Now, obviously we cannot check into our hostel, but I'm really, really hoping because hostels are quite like relaxed and laid back. I'm hoping I can kind of go in the communal area and maybe store my cabin bag and then maybe see the sunrise or something over Lake Black. That would be pretty epic. And who knows, the might let us in the room early. So let's travel to the beautiful Lake Bled in Slovenia. That's somewhere I've always wanted to go. Wish me luck that I don't get any worse. It's even a chore like fastening my cabin case, honestly. It says it's around a 14 minute walk. I've put that address in. So hopefully we find it easy. It's just gone up to 15 minutes, what the heck? We are going to be getting the f a Flix bus to Lake Bled. If you're wondering why on earth I booked it for 520, there wasn't really many options to get to Lake Bled from here in Klagenfurt, Austria, apart from this Flix bus. Now this is the first time we're actually going to be going on a Flix bus. We've never been on one before, but they kind of do them all over Europe and it also was really, really affordable. And the only direct way we could find to get to Lake Bled from here. We'll also be going on another Flix bus as well to get from Ljubljana to Graz. Let's head off, shall we? Also, I'm really hoping that my wheel doesn't break because if you watch my last vlog, um, my cabin case wheel, the rubber came off. Let's head off, shall we? It's really, really misty and kind of eerie tonight because it's super early in the morning. Uh, but we made it to the bus station. It is just opposite the train station. I'm already feeling better, but I am so glad I didn't cancel honestly I was this close to so just calling the whole thing off we are super super early I'd rather be early than rushing around and being stressed and late I was just thinking there as well how lucky are we to live in a generation where travel is so accessible like things like Google Maps helping you get to this bus station what did people like in the 90s and before do when they were traveling they would have had to use like proper maps ask around it's just so much easier now with Google Translate on your phone and you have like google map i guess it would have been a pretty big adventure we live in an amazing world where we're all like much more connected now mind blowing okay we made it on the bus it's about 10 minutes late but we're on our way now so it's actually a really fancy bus we also changed seats because uh we were sat in seats that go backwards and legs was a table and i get motion sick so we made it and just like that we are in slovenia um looks really cool sun's rising behind me it's starting to get a bit lighter and um, the buildings here are really cool already oh i see anyway we're going to our hostel first uh, to be honest i fell asleep straight away on that bus you couldn't see anything outside and we didn't have to show our passport. I'm just gonna find the hostel, it's about three minutes away from the bus station. There's church bells going off in the distance somewhere. It's coming from that church spire over here. We're staying in the Queen of Hearts hostel. How cool does the 
church bell sound in the distance. We made it into our hostel, uh, but it's still only 7 a.m. So I feel like the staff aren't awake yet or anything. I might keep this on, I'm a bit cold. I've just made myself a coffee. I'm hoping this is the right hostel. I'm gonna drink this coffee. I think I'll try and look for the staff at like half past, so I'll give it 10 minutes. We have rang the bell, it says ring the bell, but no one came. This is our little hostel room. I thought it was a double bed, but it's a bunk bed. I'm gonna have the top bunk. It's pretty small, but it was budget, and it's a hostel, and he's let us check in already, and it's half seven in the morning. But I think we're gonna head straight out now. The sun is rising, maybe go get a coffee, and go see Lake Bled. We've just come to the little lounge area in the hostel, and they've got a PS5, but look outside already. Look how pretty it looks. The buildings look insane. I can't wait to explore. We're gonna wait till around eight. Wow, check this view out. Look how cool all the houses are. This is just a hostel, but do we go down this way to the lake? It looks really, really pretty. It's another nice morning cold, but really nice. Everywhere looks super pretty. What the heck? Look at the chickens over here. Whoa, there's lots of chickens. So the hostels around here. Look at this building. This is the derelict building. But it says there's a burger place there. I think we're gonna get our breakfast first. Later on, we need to try this. It's known in the area, this cream custard cake, and it's known here in Bled. Whoa, look at the side of the mountain there. It's just like a pure rock face, like first and off. It's currently half eight in the morning, and I think we should have probably, as soon as we got that room, just tried to get some sleep. So we're gonna try and get some sleep and get some rest. And I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Oh, it looks beautiful behind me though. All right, we've had our rest. It's about 12 p.m. and now we're gonna explore Lake Bled. Also, there's a bike on a post there. I don't know what that's about. Let's go, shall we? Whoa, what the heck? We just turned this corner. Look at that backdrop. What the heck? We didn't get to see all this because it was dark earlier. I bet the drive from Klagenfurt to here was absolutely sunny. Oh no, I think the supermarket's shut. No, I think it's shut, Dean. that hot today that I've had to take my coat off. Crazy, 2nd of January. There's like a hot spell coming through. There it is, the castle in the middle of the lake. I think you can get boats over, so I hope we can get a boat over there, but look how good it looks. Justice, but that is stunning. There's also a, <laughs> like a castle just on the cliff edge there. Look at this abandoned, well, it looks like an abandoned building. It's absolutely stunning. I think it helps that it's such a beautiful day as well. I can imagine in summer there's a lot of water activities here, so I imagine in summer it's even better. But oh wow, look at that view! There's just like rowing boats going by. A castle in the middle of the lake, or it looks like a castle, I think it's actually a church. It looks like something out of a fairy tale. We're just waiting at this boat station by the lake. We're waiting for a boat to pull in. Who knows about there? And then we're gonna head over to the island. Oh my gosh, we're getting on a paddle boat. <sighs> oh, don't fall in Dean. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it, we're on a rowing boat in the middle of Lake Bled. It was 30 euros, whoa. I'm so, so lucky that it's such a nice day as well. This is amazing. One thing, I didn't bring any sunglasses because I thought we wouldn't need them coming in January, but it's beautiful. Whoa! Wow. We've got the Alps behind us as well. 
These are super tall. Castle just up there. It's so peaceful. It's such a nice day too. I can't believe how nice and hot it is. There's a blackbird just over here. Hiya. Hello. Glad looks that you can, in the summer months, you can come into the lake. Nice. Wow. The Alps go above the cloud line here. And then we've got that beautiful church in the distance. Lake Fled is famous because it's one of Slovenia's only natural islands. It's absolutely titchy, but it's the only natural island in Slovenia, so people come to see it. And I think we dock up and we can go explore that mini island, which I'm really excited about. Look at this view. Look how beautiful this house is on the lake here. There's some dotted around. I literally feel like I'm, I'm in a postcard of some sort. It's just absolutely beautiful. I feel like the sun is rejuvenating the soul. What do you think to Lake Bled so far then? Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It's just what I needed, the fresh air from the Alps. I honestly cannot believe how lucky we've been with the weather here. Any other time, like January, it's normally freezing cold, possibly snow, and it's been beautiful. It's literally been like spring weather, but as you can see, I haven't brought my sunglasses. I don't mind, I'm just closing my eyes and listening to the sound of the water. <sighs> this is a life. We're nearly there. Wow, look at that backdrop. We're just near the island, we're just docking up. Uh, Jean, we have to figure out how to dock here. Uh oh, be careful, I'm scared. Oh, oh my gosh, oh, I'm scared. Oh my goodness. So here we're on the island. We're just gonna go exploring. It looks like they're doing some restoration work on this side. I have to admit, getting off that boat was pretty scary. Uh, we also have a bit of water in my boat. I hope we don't sink on the way back. It looks like there's a cafe where you can have something to eat and drink. I think we're gonna have a walk around. Might get a coffee as well. Oh, wow, look at that clock face, it looks so cool. Come and have a look. How beautiful does that look? Love it. They've painted on the sides like brick. Like it's painted on. And the backdrop is the Alps and the castle. So just in this tower, you can pay to get in and you climb all the way up to the top. It is so high. You can also go into the church and ring a bell. But I think first of all, we're gonna get a nice coffee and just sit and take in all the surroundings. Yay, Dean got us a table. Dean ordered coffee and ice cream and me a flat white, but look how nice that coffee looks, what the heck? So Dean got us this traditional Slovenian cake to try called Polka, was it? We'll pick the walnut version, but you could also get chocolate, uh, chocolate, but we got the nut version. It looks really like crispy on the outside and like really dense, like the texture's really strange. Mm, quite dry. If you pair that with the coffee, it'd be really, really nice. Really crumbly, crumbly texture, can you see that? I like the crispy of the cake outside it's almost like it's burnt because it has like a tough crispy outside all right we didn't even realize the time it's 25 past two and we have to be back at the docking station Sorry, things at three i know oh my god we've got the worst so one time in the late district ended up nearly in the sea. yeah we ended up nearly in the sea we went on an electric boat and we were meant to go around this little island in the lake district we ended up going too far and we ended up in like three towns along and we looked at the time and we were like what the heck and we were so late back we had to ring the boats and say i'm so sorry we got lost and we were about an hour and a half late to dock back up so we need to get going because we need to get rowing it has been a beautiful day here in lake bled apparently this is the church of the mother of god on the lake i think i'll just look at pictures on the internet of it plus we need to get going plus it's 12 years 
euros per person. I'm not doing that and we won't have enough time. We'll literally pay 12 euros each and then we will be there for like two minutes and then we have to come back down. So there's actually no point, but we've just really enjoyed the boat ride. That's the best bit, the boat ride and looking at the church and everything is the best bit. And then sitting, having a coffee with the castle in the background and the lake surrounding us. Oh, what a beautiful day. I'm so glad I came. I'm so glad I didn't cancel this whole trip. Wow. How stunning is that view? Look at that view behind me. I mean, if that's, we've just been taking like a little mini photo shoot, but it's absolutely amazing, right? We really need to get in this boat, Dean, because we're going to be late. Let's go. Oh, I hate getting into boats. Scary. Uh, it's scary. Uh, right, relax. 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 Oh. Come on, Dean, you can do it. It's just un unchaining it. Why is getting into boats so scary? There's also water in this boat. That doesn't fill me with them. Whoa, whoa, balance it out, Dean. Ah, it's all right when you sat down, it's getting in, that's the hard bit. now setting and the church and the little island is behind us. Wow, what an amazing day. I feel like I'm rowing to the gates of South Holland. That backdrop is sick. <laughs> sick boys. Sick boys, so good. I love this one as well, like that's not even the best view. The best view is the castle and the Alps and stuff. I think that looks amazing. Look at that. It's so still here as well. The lake is like super still and calming. It's absolutely beautiful. This is totally underrated. I don't know if you can hear this, but the church bells have just went off. And there's a guy sat on a bench just there playing the saxophone. I don't think you'll be able to hear it, but it sounds so nice. We're just like rowing our boat and there's a saxophone player. Thanks for coming out. Tomorrow, that's what he's playing, I think. Wow, so nice. Honestly, that was so cringe. The sun is setting behind me, which looks beautiful, but I just nearly fell in the lake, didn't I, Dean? Like, full on properly, like, Dean got out of the boat. Well, we tried getting out when I, when I was getting out, so when I jumped out, the weight well, do that. made you, like, nearly fall. <laughs> And the guy was going, whoa, 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 because I was literally hanging over the edge and my camera was dangling near the water and so was my bag. My bag was this close off the water and I nearly fell in. But I managed to grab the ledge and then pull the boat back. <laughs> so scary, oh my God. That could have been a disaster. I would have just grabbed the camera and let you fall in. <laughs> You're waterproof the camera. Yeah, that's true. I'm waterproof the camera. Stop. Thanks, Dean. We're just walking through the park and there's all these like little painted displays everywhere. How cute are these? Little angel thing. I wonder if it's a festivity type thing off they're always like this. Anyway, me and Dean haven't really had any proper food today apart from that cake. So we really need to get something to, for tea. We've seen a really traditional Slovenian restaurant up here. So I think we're gonna go to that and get some food. This one looks really, really pretty. Earlier on it was much busier, but it overlooks the lake. How nice does this one look? So pretty, look at that view. I don't know if this is it, I can't remember. Let's look inside. Oh, that's a cute little restaurant. Oh yeah, it's up here. This is it, the Slovenian local cuisine. Oh wow, look how pretty this is. Veal cheeks. Oh, <laughs> 
They do go made lemonades in different flavours as well. There's veal liver with black belted pig bacon, dried tomatoes, cloves, celery, mashed potatoes, spring onions and red pickled onions. Our lunch has arrived. We ordered uh, this beef steak to share and it said dumpling. It's really delicious. It's huge. Check out the size of that. Mm. Mm. I've never had anything like this before but if I could compare it to anything it would be like the actual dumplings you know the starchy suet dumplings we get I think that is basically what it is but they're like flat that's what it tastes like starchy dumplings Wow, it sounds so peaceful as we're coming out of the restaurant. Anyway, that meal was absolutely delicious. We actually like wrapped it up in napkins to have back at the hostel. We're now going to head off and find a traditional bled cream cake. We've been seeing them all around bled and it's known for here. It's like a delicacy. Here we go. This guy's holding one right now. And we're going to go to the place where the origin started it back in the 50s. So there was a pastry chef and he worked at a cafe slash hotel, I think it is, maybe a cafe. And he started like a marketing campaign around it and it became super, super popular. <laughs> Oh, it's a Christmas market. Oh, there's a little log fire over here. You can just sit around. This is cozy. Saw you down the motorway. There was something about you that day. I can still hear the shimmering sound. Ah, oh, you have to get a magnet. The island in the center is starting to be lit up the night. It looks beautiful. I am definitely a night owl because I just think everything looks better at dusk and at night. We'll never be the same after that day. You wrap me around your fingers and you stay. As you can see, it's very popular for its cakes. They're dishing out loads of cake. There's the big slab of it. Oh my gosh, Dean's just had to walk all the way back around because I've left my iPad on the table in the last restaurant. Oh, thank gosh, it's here. So here is our bled cake. It's all wobbly. It's basically a layer of pastry. And then did we say it was cream and custard or just cream? Some say custard online, don't they? I'll put below. And they're perfectly seven centimeters by seven centimeters by seven centimeters. And originally, this would take three people to cut the cake because of how delicate it is. They didn't want to squish all the cream out. It would take three people to do it. But now we've well, got like yeah, well, the hired the hired three people. The hired three people, yeah. Just to, uh, just to cut it, just to cut the cake. Uh, but now they've got like robots, so robots. Cut how do I? I'm gonna make a mess of it. Oh, oh, look! Oh no! How do I do it without making a mess everywhere? This is messy to eat. Right, it smells like vanilla. Mm. Mm. You know what it tastes like? A really epic vanilla slice with a crispy top and bottom. Absolutely delicious. This is worth it. So nice. The pastry is like nice and crispy. So it's a perfect balance of the vanilla cream and then the light, the light custard. But it's like a not like a hard, really set custard. It's like a really light custard. We were saying it's like a really simple, plain flavour, and I had low, low-ish expectations. I thought it was going to be a bit plain, to be honest, and a bit like this one in particular. I don't know if they're all like this, but. It's so delicious. Every flavour is perfectly balanced and it's got that nice vanilla taste to it. Oh, it's honestly absolutely gorgeous. Oh, 
so we have made it back to our hostel we're just sitting in the bedroom we're probably gonna just chill on our phones and get an early night and i'm gonna end the vlog here don't forget to like and subscribe and follow along for day three where we will be heading and catching the bus to Ljubljana, the capital of Slovenia. Really excited about that. We'll be staying in another hostel while we're there because it has been an amazing day. But I'm going to chill now and rest up. So I'll see you in the next one. All right then. Thanks so much for watching. I love you.